Hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. Okay, so we are gonna make some short ribs. Now, um, these are, these were on sale this week for $1.57 a pound, which I really feel that's a great bargain um, nowadays. I got them with the bone on. I don't mind paying for that bone. It's not very big, as you can see. And it adds extra flavor, okay? Um, that fat is gonna render down. Actually, I don't really want all that fat on there. So, I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab a knife here and cut some of that off. Just, just so I don't, we're not eating that. Usually they don't have that much fat on them. Okay, better. And I'm gonna put these down in a marinade for, oh, long enough for the coals on the barbecue to get going. Now, we're gonna barbecue. It's beautiful weather outside and um, I don't, I cannot see a reason why not. So let me wash my hands really quick. And I want this a little on the side of sweet and savory. So we're gonna do a little teriyaki type marinade and it'll be delicious. So I've got this teriyaki sauce and slash marinade. I'm gonna pour this down over these boneless, or no, bone in. Uh, ribs, that's weird. And then I've got soy sauce here. I'm not gonna submerge this in a marinade just because it doesn't, it's not necessary to be really honest with you. Now, because we've got the sweet here, I want a little spice. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of cayenne. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, it is delicious. Okay, and then I want about a tablespoon of garlic sprinkled down over these. My honey's out there lighting the barbecue, and we're gonna get grilling up some of these. Now, I want some parsley down here. I use parsley in a lot of stuff. I know that a lot of people don't, but I do. So, next one down, and we're just gonna repeat that process. A little bit of teriyaki marinade. Oh, and you know, I do want a little bit of red wine vinegar down on here also. So, teriyaki can be overpowering if you're not careful, so you really do want to just be cautious about it. That's why I'm not marinating it very long. Because it doesn't need to be. A little bit of garlic. And there we go. Okay. And I'll continue um, to layer up seasoning when I get it out on the grill. Kind of need some onions in here as well. But mm. Okay. We're just going to leave this out on the counter while the briquettes are starting. And that way the meat is not going to seize up and become tough on us out on the grill. All right, you guys, I'll bring you back when I'm a little further along and we'll get moving on this project. It's going to be delicious. Okay. All right. All right. I'm back and I'm getting ready because we need something really delicious to go along with this. So I'm going to do, because <laughs> we have so many coals on that barbecue, that I'm gonna do some kebabs. I think that sounds amazing. And so I have some barbecue skewers that are um, soaking right now in some warm water. So, let's see, I'm gonna do these kind of uniform. I've got red pepper here, get some of that. 
pith out of there. I don't want that. That doesn't taste good. It's kind of bitter. It doesn't add anything to the dish. So we just cut that right out. And there you go. Okay. And we'll cut these cheeks down in uniform pieces. I'm going to do, these kebabs are going to be composed of red bell pepper, pineapple, pear, and onion. And so right now I'm just going to get the main stuff together and we'll go from there. Oh, it's going to be so good. You guys don't even know how good this is going to be. So you want to let your um, skewers soak in some hot water for about the time it's going to take to marinate this. And I'm out of paper towels. No. Okay. I'm going to get the skins off this onion. How delicious. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm not going to cut the pear until right before, just because I don't want them to turn brown, okay? So, and I do, i got to get some rice started. Oh my gosh. I am, oops, almost, almost dropped it. Okay. Okay, so when I'm doing this, I've got pieces about the same size that I'm gonna be putting on the skewer. Maybe a little bit bigger. I really enjoy grilled onion because it caramelizes and brings out all the natural sugars. So it's all good. So, okay. And then we add that to the mix and this great vegetable that's really inexpensive. Add it on top. Okay, whoops, that bowl's not quite big enough. So, I better get another bowl. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. We'll just put the onions in this one. And then it's easier to pick and choose what we want to put on there. All right. So, we got those cut up, and I'm going to get some rice started. We want some really good jasmine rice to go along with this. It's going to be delicious. All right, you guys, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I did get the rice on, and I decided because I'm, it's almost time to put the meat on. And rice can take a long time, and we like to eat brown rice whenever possible. So I've got a jasmine brown rice that's been parboiled. So basically, it's been cooked and then dehydrated again. I mean, that's the closest understanding that I have of this. I am cooking this in some chicken stock that's organic and low sodium, and we're gonna enjoy some jasmine brown rice. All right, rice we're out with of the old barbecue, and it's old. I'm going to have to get me a new one, I think, this year. So, I'm going to put these on, and we're going to start this cooking process. So good. I love barbecuing, and I love doing it over coal. This is, actually, this is not charcoal. This is 100% um, hardwood natural charcoal so it's not the synthetic icky stuff for the environment yeah and we're gonna enjoy every bite of this so i got that going now once some of that um fat starts rendering down it'll even heat the coals up even hotter so I'm going to just let this start cooking, and we're going to get busy with our kebabs. Okay, so now we're going to run back in the house. Come on with me. All right, so now I'm going to start this process of getting my kebabs together. It's super easy. 
It's amazingly delicious. You, oh man, if you haven't done kebabs in a while, I highly recommend you try it again. So I, actually this is my pear that I cut up and I squirted lime juice on it just to keep it from getting brown. And I think what I wanna do is I wanna go fruit, vegetable, fruit, vegetable. I think that sounds amazing. This is the fresh pineapple that I cut up the other day for uh, to plant and to eat for lunches. And it is so sweet and full of flavor, it's delicious. So, green bell pepper would be good here too. I just don't happen to have any. So, we're gonna do with what we have, as always. Okay, let's see, one more little pear. So, fruit and pork go hand in hand to me. Um, I just, I, I don't know, I'm, I love fruit and pork paired together. This could be apples, any any kind of fruit. And look at the pretty red bell pepper in here, and pineapple, and onion. We love grilled onion. In fact, I might put an extra one on, on this one, just because we do, we love it. Onions are so good for you. Okay, now another pear and a red bell pepper. Um, I honest and truly have enough food for an army and I don't know who's gonna eat it all. Um, I was gonna put some of those uh, ribs away, but I decided that we would go ahead and cook them all. So here we go, we're on a roll. Okay, there's two kebabs. Mm -hmm. Can you believe how delicious that looks? How appetizing is that? Come on, you guys, you know you want one. <laughs> All right, I'm out here and it's smoking hot. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these. Ah, yum. And actually I'm gonna, they're starting to get too brown because of the sugar in the marinade and fat content. So we're going to set these off to indirect heat. And we'll use the direct heat for something else. Mm -hmm. oh, that's okay though. It's all good. Okay guys. And I'm going to shut the damper down a little bit because I don't want them to get too crispy. One side's fine, the other side, not so much. All right, I'll be back with some more of Rusty Barbecue. <laughs> I'm gonna get a new barbecue, okay? Just saying. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, now I'm getting ready to put the kebabs on. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. I already tasted a piece of that pork and it is delicious. So over here I have a bed of coals that are ready and waiting. And you know, I really think I want some olive oil on here, but we're gonna save calories and just do it. What if we didn't have olive oil? Then what would we do? So I'm just gonna put these on here. They shouldn't burn because they've been, um, those, Skewers have been soaking in water and the fruit is wet and it's just beautiful. I don't know if any of you can see this, but the meat is all delicious and ready to go, honestly. Um, once I got caramelized and really a little more than the other side, but we're just letting all this just kind of render down and get delicious. Okay. <laughs> And, oh, look at it, it's a lone pear. We'll put that right there. And I'll, I'll bring you over and let you look at that. It's so pretty. Hold on, hold on for the ride. There's my kebabs, okay? And there's that lone kebab and pear, and there's the pile of meat. And uh, look at those coals. And these are hardwood, so they're smoking everything as well. 
So I'm gonna shut this down and we're gonna get cooking that fruit. I'll turn it one time and we'll be ready to eat because the rice is done. Okay, I'll be back. Look at this old barbecue. I need a new one. Uh, maybe next week. <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Hmm. Okay, you guys, I've got something I've got to slather all over those ribs and that's some of my version of a barbecue sauce. So we just used up all our ketchup the other day. I don't use a ton of ketchup, but I do use a fair amount. So we're gonna go after this. And this one has no high fructose corn syrup. So we're happy about that. Okay, now what we need is some orange marmalade. And I have been meaning to make this myself. I gotta do it. I, I am totally out. So I want about mm, a third of a cup of orange marmalade. And then I wanna throw some ketchup down on that. And the lid. Well, I've got everything off there, okay. We'll just check as I drop it again. Okay, let's rinse it off. How about we, yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna say equal parts of ketchup to marmalade. I want, uh, Maybe two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce and a good glug of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna mix this up. Ooh, I need garlic. And I need a little bit of sesame oil, I believe. But before I go there, I wanna give a taste. See where we're at. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to have some of that. So we'll do, sorry. We'll do some garlic powder and I'm gonna say a good heaping teaspoon of garlic powder. I might as well just leave that in there for next time. I'm going to do some parsley and mm. I think I need some chilies on there for sure. This is going to be a great sauce. Fabulous. Okay, so a little bit of cayenne, um, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne, it's pretty hot, and uh, same with the red chili flakes, and we'll let that get in there. Mm. This is going to be so good, better have a taste. Oh, so it's sweet and it's spicy. Not too spicy though. Really and truly, it could use some more cayenne. And I believe some more soy sauce. So we'll mix that up and we're gonna get those ribs off and just let them rest with this barbecue sauce on there. Oh yeah. All right now guys, I'm dishing up dinner, finally. Oh my goodness, we have had such a great afternoon. The guys got to go shooting, we got to barbecue. This is gonna be delicious. Okay, so I've got this brown rice, which I cooked it in um, organic chicken stock. A Little bit of parsley, pretty much that's about it. This was parboiled, so it didn't take as long, although I did need the full amount of time. So 
unfortunately, it's just the way life goes sometimes. Now I have um, a kebab here. I'm gonna do two kebabs for Michael. Uh, I think I'll do them over there. And I basted them with the barbecue sauce that I made. And then I have these um, bone-in pork spare ribs. And I definitely want to give him a steak knife to go along with that. And I'll pick out a good one here. They're really meaty. I don't know that we're going to be able to eat all these. I'm guessing maybe not. We might have to. And these have been basted in that barbecue sauce that I did. So, um, if you don't think there's enough, put some more on. And then they've been resting tinted for about 10-15 oh, minutes. We just got our little indoor greenhouse um, all put together. My honey is amazing. I'm going to get a bite of this and let you know how it tastes. And then I'm going to let my husband eat. Okay. Mmm. Wow. That barbecue sauce is perfect for this. It's got sweet, it's got spicy, it's savory, it's delicious. So, YouTube, I hope this inspires you to step outside the box, try something new next time, and you know what? Make something delicious for your family. This is absolutely phenomenal. And we did it together, and we enjoyed each other as a family. So, I'll bring you back next time when I have another amazing video coming up. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button, and if you really like it, put it on Facebook. All right, YouTube. God bless.